Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And they continue with Gabriel Knight 2, The Beast Within. Blind. Uh, I'm here in uh, Rittersburg, so let's just talk to everyone again. I talked to those guys already before. Herr Huber? Yes? I was wondering if you've changed your mind about telling me where Gabriel is. It's really important. No. Sorry. Thanks. Bitte? Mm. Okay, I'll look for Gerda, because she was not at the, the castle, so... Still this. I wonder what kind of flowers these are. Which, surely this has to be important for later. It's far too conspicuous to, to be of no use. St. Georg Church. Gerda's here. I wonder what she's up to. with Wolfgang. Grace Nakamura. Boy, do I feel stupid or what? Mm. But, but what that does... I really should apologize, but I don't want to interrupt her. Maybe... I really should apologize, but I don't want to interrupt her. Maybe there's something else I can do. Mm, I don't know, give her some flowers? I don't want to disturb her. I wonder what kind of flowers these are. Nothing here. Oh, oh, there, there, there's. I have never noticed because this goes back, but this goes further down this path. Oh wait, this just go. What? What is going on? I guess it just goes back to the castle. So, so that's entirely pointless. Schloss Ritter, birthplace of Gabriel's genetic code. Gerda's being a real pig about those car keys. I guess I haven't been in her room for, for some time. So. I don't want to go back into Geta's bedroom. She might catch me in there. Okay, but there's still this. This is back, but this is something else.
I'll leave the other roses on the bush. An emergency exit? <laughs> I guess that makes sense if you're fighting the legions of darkness. The castle looks huge from here. They've got more rooms left to restore than I thought. The castle looks huge from here. They've got more rooms left to restore than I thought. But can I actually get out through here? Or do I have to go all the way back? It's n not much of a, you know, emergency exit if it doesn't exit to anywhere. Seems to be kind of a dead end. They're beautiful, but they won't last long in my coat. I don't want to go back into Geta's bedroom. She kind of flowers these are I wonder what kind of flower So sorry. I was an idiot. Gabriel and I, we, we never. I know. It's my fault. It's Gabriel's fault. He never tells me anything. I don't know why he didn't want me on this case. Um, maybe he just. Don't even try to make excuses for him. Still. He's up to his neck in it, I think. Will you help me out with something? Of course. I have to do some research on Ludwig. I want to go see some of his castles. Take Gabriel's car. There's a map of southern Bavaria in the car. Ludwig's castles are all marked. Thanks. Good luck. I think she wants to be left alone. I feel good about Grace apologizing, because she was really acting, you know, out of hand. I didn't approve. W one bit. Mm. 
Okay, so it seems I have to go into two different directions anywhere, uh, anyway. Uh, so doesn't matter to which one. Uh, uh, to which one do I go first? Our tour begins in the entry hall. Ludwig II lived from 1845 to 1886. He assumed the Bavarian throne at the age of 18 when his father died. Ludwig's passion was building castles. He built three during his lifetime. Linderhof, Herrenchiemsee, and Neuschwanstein. Plans for a fourth castle, Falkenstein, were underway when he died. In addition to his obsession with building, Ludwig also had a passion for classical heroic German mythology, a taste he shared with a German opera composer, Richard Wagner. Neuschwanstein is decorated throughout with themes from these stories, most of which directly relate to Wagner's operas. These scenes seem to tell a story, but I have no idea what story. The paintings in this room are from the Siegfried Saga. The paintings in this room are from the Siegfried Saga. Well, it would be helpful if you would tell me what do they actually depict. These scenes seem to tell a story, but I have no idea what story. The paintings in this room are from the Siegfried Saga. I wonder where that door leads. I don't think the guards want to be bothered while on duty. You are now standing in the king's bedroom. The theme of the bedroom is Tristan and Isolde the tragic love story retold in Wagner's opera. The opera was given its first performance in Munich in 1865, and a 20-year-old Ludwig attended. This is probably the most elaborate and expensive bedroom ever created. It took 14 woodcarvers four and a half years to create this room. It was this kind of extravagance that bankrupted the king. In the years before his death, he found it increasingly difficult to find money from any source. I don't think the guards want to be bothered while on duty. Scenes from the opera Tristan and Isolde. Well, at the very least, I know that story because, uh, you know, we had to read it for school. It's a medieval romance. Uh, he, he, Wagner just retold it. Uh, he didn't think of it. It already existed as a story. Scenes from the opera Tristan and Isolde. Did they have running water in 1886? Did they have running water in 1886? Maybe Ludwig thought all this luxury would help him sleep. Mm, I assume this goes back. Uh, no. So which way is back actually here? Not this either, so I guess this is the way back, okay. This is the king's living room. The walls are decorated with scenes from the Lohengrin saga. The king first saw Wagner's opera Lohengrin when he was 16. And it so affected him that he considered it a form of enlightenment. The tragedy of Lohengrin was his essential loneliness. This too was Ludwig's own fate. Ludwig withdrew more and more into his fantasy world of epic heroes and absolute monarchy. 
an ideal he was determined to create in his castles if he could not have it in his real life. He only wanted to be alone with his dreams, so much so that even his servants were kept at a distance and were not allowed to look at him. What were you afraid they'd see? These linens look seriously expensive and seriously old. The Miracle of the Grail. The swan motif is featured throughout the castle, but it is particularly prominent in this room. Both the swan and the lily were symbols Ludwig associated with himself. They represented his ideals of majesty and purity. The painting behind the swan shows Lohengrin's arrival. This is a reproduction of the Grotto from the Tannhäuser Saga. In such places, Ludwig could pretend he was one of his beloved mythic heroes. As the Grotto personifies, the castles were solitary playgrounds built for Ludwig alone. He believed the masses were too coarse to appreciate fine art and he seldom entertained guests. In fact, Ludwig had a standing order that upon his death, the castles were to be destroyed. Fortunately, the estate was in such debt that the castles were opened for pain tours only weeks after Ludwig's death. They haven't closed since. It is one of the great ironies of Ludwig's story that the castles that he was thought insane for building are now considered Bavaria's finest treasures. They have paid for their construction many times over. This is the king's study. Ludwig spent much time at his desk writing letters, drawing up plans for his projects, and studying his favorite authors. He loved poetry, history, and the classics. In later years, he also studied the occult. What affairs of state he did reluctantly attend to were generally attended to alone at his desk in writing. His reluctance to meet with his heads of state and perform the duties of the king were one of the reasons for the charges brought against him in 1886. But Ludwig dreamt of true kingship and a true monarchy, and the small powers left to him after Bavaria succeeded power to Prussia only incited his disdain and frustration. The study paintings depict scenes from the Tannhäuser Saga and the Wartburg Castle. I doubt there's anything left in there now. Besides, the guard would kill me if I touched it. The study paintings depict scenes from the Tannhäuser Saga and the Wartburg Castle. I wonder why he was studying the occult before he died. I don't think the guards want to be bothered while on duty. This is the final room of our tour the Singer's Hall. It was modeled after the Singer's Hall of the Wartburg Castle, where minstrel competitions were held in the 13th century. The hall was built for small private concerts, but Ludwig himself never gave one here. 
It is said that during the last few years of Wagner's life, he came to Neuschwanstein frequently and performed for the king alone in this room. The hall is probably best known for its enigmatic wolf paintings. The original paintings were from the Parseval saga, but in 1882, Ludwig had them replaced, supplying the description and titles of the new paintings himself. Mm. While all the other rooms in the castle show scenes from Wagner's operas, the scenes in this room are not from any opera that anyone can identify. It is yet another of the many mysteries associated with the life of the fairy tale king. The hunters track down Engelhardt and Hildegunde. Engelhardt courts Hildegunde. Engelhardt and the blacksmith. There must be a story behind these wolf paintings, but what story? There must be a story behind these wolf paintings. I don't think the guards want to be bothered while on duty. Hilde Gunde's imprisonment. Hmm, guarded by a wolf. The wedding feast of Hildegunde and the Baron. The death of Engelhardt. Hmm, so wait. So I assume he somehow transformed into a wolf. Because he certainly was a human in the previous paintings. What's the difference between this and... This is the same place, right? I am somewhat confused. This is Ludwig's private chapel. The king was a devout Catholic as were all of the Wittelsbacher rulers. They supported the Roman Church even when other European countries were dominated by Protestantism. The Black Madonna of El Tadin. I wonder what her story is all about. The stained glass window depicts Saint Louis receiving the last sacraments. It's a beautiful crucifix, ivory and gold. Mm. Is that everything in here? Nice view of the Alps. I guess that's it. Let's see if the map will highlight anything more uh, yes so I have missed something then but let's go here maybe maybe something will become apparent I can't see the displays until I've gotten past the counter I can't see the displays until I've gotten past the counter
Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Ist das die Ludwig Museum? Ja, ja. Ludwig der Zweite von Bayern. Ich hätte gern eine Eintrittskarte fürs Museum. Ja, acht Mark für eine Ganztagskarte. Danke. Bitte. I don't have anything to say to her at the moment. What's the point? Okay, okay. I was for a second confused. This is the original, like, German letter, I assume, and this is a translation. I was confused. What's the point? No, I didn't want to do that. What are you talking about? How do I... How do I... Close that? How did I even... How did that even happen? I wasn't touching my keyboard. I am now because I'm trying to figure out... Uh, oh, the type exit, it says, Okay, the game straight up lied to me, or I'm an idiot and I didn't read it entirely when I, write, when I wrote that quit command, because it didn't just quit the console, it quit the entire game. So I have to, I have to redo everything I've done. What? It, I don't, I, I, no, I want to save. It will have me do this again. I, there has to be some error in the game. It says here, sent to invalid selector of object. I don't want to quit the game. How do I... Uh, okay, at least I think I can save from here. Save game. Uh, save game emergency. Uh, does it work? How do I? Maybe I can uh, restore game. Restore game emergency. Okay, it crashed again, and the save that I seemingly wanted to make doesn't exist, so it means I have to redo everything again, which is pretty, pretty annoying. I should have saved right before I got into the museum. But I've done a bit of reading, and supposedly this is like a prevalent bug, so I might have to work on fixing that. I think I'm going to cut this episode short here and hopefully find uh, a way to fix this. Mm, if I do, the game will continue. If not, then I don't think I have it in me to like reinstall it and start from the actual beginning. Uh, so we'll see. For now, that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.